Hey guys! So we recently went to apple picking and you saw on our channel where we went to this orchard and it was so much fun. We got to actually pick apples straight from the branch and put them directly into this bag which I have in front of me. There's all these fresh, delicious apples straight from the tree that we selected. We've been eating them just like by themselves and oh my goodness, they are delicious. I know that these aren't like the best kind of apples to bake with. Like there's different apples for ba for baking and stuff and these are like more for eating, not really baking, but we're gonna try to make an apple pie with these because I'm in a baking mood. I don't know. It's really late by the way, baby sleeping. Casey's helping me film this. You chose uh... 11 p.m. to make an apple pie, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a late night attempt. I mean, this is really the only time we can do anything when the baby's sleeping, like at night. I mean, he did go to sleep hours ago. But anyway, the point is <laughs> we're making apple pie from scratch. So, pie crust is first. Man, we need more flour. I've been baking a lot. Dang, one teaspoon seems like a lot. Is this a teaspoon? Yeah, it's a teaspoon. Never cubed up butter before. I like how they feel too. Like, oh. oh my goodness, this is difficult. I'm gonna break my fork. Oh my gosh, what the heck? They make it look so easy. This is not easy because they were specific too. They were like, the butter needs to be cold. I'm like, my shoulder hurts. Okay, this is a lot better. Okay, now we wait a whole hour. You ain't tired yet? I am tired, but I committed to this and I ain't no quitter. So it's currently 11.30. <laughs> It'll take a whole hour, right? So 12.30 is when that should be done. Oh my gosh, we're not sleeping tonight. All right, so since we have to wait for a whole hour, I do want to snack on these delicious trail mix. So shout out to Toodaloo for sponsoring today's video. Oh my goodness, you guys, you must try this trail mix. So first of all, I heard of Toodaloo because of the owner, Katie. She's like a super environmental, loving, climate change tackler kind of girl. Like I read her whole story and I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to try this trail mix. So what she does is she creates these adaptive a genetic trail mix and she has four different flavors there is slow your roll which is my personal favorite oh my god it's so good look there is actual it, so this is a sweet maple mix of sprouted nuts seeds chewy super fruits coconut reishi which by the way the chewy super fruits there's apples in here so it goes with the whole theme of tonight with making apple pie and this also supports relaxation oh my god it's the best. It literally has like that full nutty taste, but also with the sweet maple and the coconut, you could really taste it. Just really amplify your senses. Such a big fan of this one. For me, I have really been looking for healthier snacks, especially for my household. You know, Casey's always really health conscious. And he kind of turned me into a very health conscious person where I'm constantly worried about like, wait, is there too much sugar in there? Is there just like blah, blah, blah. It's just funny that I'm making an apple pie that does have sugar in it, but for the most part, we do try to be very mindful of what we put in our bodies. That's why when I found out about Toodaloo, I got really excited because I'm like, oh my God, this is perfect to just pack in, in my purse and just have a snack, a healthy snack ready to go like for whenever we're doing outings, like whenever Isaac's hungry or later on when Luca starts snacking. I don't know, I'm a really big fan. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys try it. And if you guys don't love it, Toodaloo will give you a refund if you're not loving their trail mix. So make sure to check out the link down below at toodaloo.com slash tiffcase to get $5 off your first purchase. Each ridiculously tasty flavor benefits your body in a different way. So choose your favorite flavor and benefit from skin health, digestion, focus, or relaxation. Like I said, my personal favorite is slow your roll, but honestly, Hot to Trot is amazing too. And if you love chocolate, literally every single flavor that Toodaloo offers, I'm such a big fan. I need to stock up the pantry with more because these are already all gone in our household. <laughs> okay, so I just finished peeling all the apples. Now we're gonna start slicing them. I want them pretty thin. I like apple chips. 
do the work. Thank you. Casey helped me behind the scenes, nice and thin. So, three fourths cup. Sugar. Three. God damn, that's a lot of sugar. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have added so much sugar, huh? And then just let the sugar from the apple. Because these are really sweet apples. Oh, should I just try to dig out some sugar? We'll take you next time. I feel like it will be too sweet. Who's that? Flour. Ooh. One, two, and then good. a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Smells like Thanksgiving. Is this what you're gonna be making for Thanksgiving? Is this your practice run? We gotta go apple picking again. Just kidding. The season's gonna be over. I love it when you smell, smell like that the most. Really? <laughs> How do I smell? Yeah, you just smell a certain way after you make a pun. <laughs> you're funny. You love me. I do. How do I mix this? Okay, I need a man. Ooh, yeah. My mans, please. I need my mans. I feel like it needs more cinnamon. I'm like, I feel like it's not cinnamony enough. These are my baking instincts kicking in right here. The baker within is like, more cinnamon. Shall we taste? Not too sweet, I don't think. Yeah. Pretty good. Ooh, kind of rock hard. Okay. And I only had your hands framed up and I could tell you were thinking the way you were like, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, like, hmm. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Looks like the pie that Snow White made. You mentioned Snow White, and now I have whistle while you work in my head. Ooh. Yes! Ooh. That should have been the bottom crust. Oh, that looks so good. Now, this is the part actually with that Snow White. Yes, with the little, with the, the bird. The, yeah, go get a bird. I know, I need a bird. Then I got a fork. When I originally thought about doing a, an apple pie, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do like this, like this, like this, with the strips oh, and like little, weave it. That's a lot of work. But then I'm like, it's 1.30 in the morning. Maybe I should not be that ambitious. Ah, I just bit my cake resort. I heard that too. How satisfying. Mm hmm Your bird. Yeah, my little bird. I wonder if it's down. This pan has like wider handles on the edges, so mm -hmm. you can like hang on to it. Yes. So it's gonna have like a wider crust. Ta -da. Ta -da. There we go. All right. Oh, that I can't wait. It'll be ready at three in the morning. Just in time for breakfast. Yep. Apple pie for breakfast. Mm. That's so, good. so ignore this side. And it's 2.30 in the morning, so we're just gonna try it in the morning. Good night. Mm. Okay. Thanks. Ooh, look at that apple pie. All right, so it is now the next day and I went to sleep exactly as you saw me last night. Didn't change, didn't take off my makeup, didn't even get my hair off this ponytail. But anyway, we just reheated the apple pie so we're not gonna get to try it fresh, unfortunately. It was just way too late last night, we couldn't hang. Um, but here yeah, we go. The last shot I recorded last night, I was just like. Yeah, he was delirious. I actually left the camera on, so the battery, it, luckily we have another battery. <laughs> yeah. You left the camera on the whole night? Yeah. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we're here, we accomplished what we came to do. This is my first apple pie, so I'm really excited. Yeah, this is the most homemade experience of an apple pie I've ever had. Pick the apples, 
Yeah. Made the dough from scratch. Scratch. And made, yeah, made the filling from scratch and assembled it and everything. That's so true. You know, I went to sleep last night too thinking about the filling and how I just dumped all the apples in there, but I, I really, like my OCD really wanted to lay them all like, it beautifully, out. Oh, yeah. like ratatouille. Ooh, this is not gonna come out pretty. It's an apple cobbler, how about that? No. Oh, actually, it did come out pretty. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow. Luca playing his music. DJ so Luca over there. Cutie pie. Ah, cutie pie, you get it? Ah, just kidding. Look at that. That's my pie. Look at that. Woo, woo, woo. Mm. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Well, no secret. I actually don't like apple pie. All the apple pie I've ever tasted, like the apple slices are just too thick. Even the one that we had at the orchard, it's just like too thick or like too sweet. This is kind of sweet, actually. I no, that's pretty good. I should have scaled back on the sugar. Really? Yeah, I've just never been a fan, but I'm really glad that we cut these um, apple slices super thin. thin. And the dough is actually really good. Like mm -hmm. the pie crust. It's better than the stores. And even like the, the pie places, I'm like, this is better than those places too. Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet. This is the kind of pie and the kind of sweetness level where mm. I can eat the whole thing. You don't get empalagado, your nope. favorite Spanish word? Mm-hmm. Poying, I guess is in English. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm really proud of myself. Good job, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, you helped too. We did it. I wish you guys could taste this. This came out really good. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving? You gonna be making this again? We gotta get the apples. You gotta go pick them again. Go pick them. I think this pie is as good as it is because of the apples that we have. Mm. <laughs> Luca. I know. Oh, look at him though. He's looking at the cat. That's cute. That's the new tradition. We're gonna go apple picking every year. I'm gonna make this apple pie every year. I'm calling it now. Yeah, I wonder what, what it would have tasted like fresh. We're gonna have to make another one. Mm -hmm. Tonight at 2 a.m. we're gonna make another one. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do ice cream later tonight though with it because uh, I love apple pie a la mode. Yeah, that's his favorite. I, specifically, apple pie a la mode. Yes. Every year for Thanksgiving, every time I go to Dallas, he's always like trying to buy an apple pie at the grocery store, get a pint of bluebell, baby bell, bluebell. Mm -hmm. I always get them mixed up. One is cheese, one is ice cream, the ice cream one. Bluebell. Bluebell. And I've never liked it. I'm like, that's all you every year. But if I make my own pie, then maybe I'll join you. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching us create this wonderful masterpiece of a homemade pie from apples picked by the family. Came out delicious. I wish you could try it. But... Tiff and Case original. Mm -hmm. And Isaac too. <laughs> yeah. And Luca too. And Luca too. We gotta add Luca in our banner. Yeah. And Luca too. And Isaac too. And Luca also. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Well, 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 what do we have here? <gasps> Look at this. I made a way prettier pie because the first pie was gone in a jiffy. Hopefully this one comes out just as good. I also forgot to do the egg wash on this one. I made three of these little mini ones with the extra filling that I had and extra pie crust. <laughs> <laughs>